Hey everybody, Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. A beautiful sunny day in Arizona and boy do I have some exciting news to share with you all. <laughs> As uh, we transition to a dirt road here but only two tenths of a mile of a dirt road and then right up here right up here on our left is a spot is even a driveway oh, let's just drive down this nice little driveway here let's just go take a peek at something together guys you want to do that okay and then maybe we'll just turn right in here where you'd put a tiny house. Okay. All right, let me get parked here. Thanks for joining me, guys. I will be uploading this video with some Nomad Internet. Link below in the video description if you're looking for some mobile and limited internet, which works out here pretty well. Um, I have some exciting news, guys. I mean, I don't think I've been this excited in a, in a very long time. Uh, my offer was accepted. Land in Arizona. Uh, pretty much raw land out here, except you saw they did put in a culvert. They put in the driveway here, which needs some more rock. Um, it's a it's a one acre out here. There's that sunshine. They uh, they dug for septic, and they did get it to a peak, so it's it's authorized for a 1,000 gallon septic tank here. Water you would have to bring in. Um, there is power and water at the street, so that's an option at least. One acre goes back pretty far back there. There is some garbage that was left dumped here that it's gonna need to be hauled out. But man, look at this. As the clouds roll in, in and out here, um, Arizona land. Gosh, I can't believe it. I guess I haven't really shared all of the properties that I've been looking at here in Arizona. This would be my eighth, my eighth one. In case, in case you're keeping track, it took me eight tries to find the perfect one. And ironically, uh, this particular acre is one that Kevin originally looked at before purchasing his down the road. Yeah, we're just down the road from where Kevin and Carolyn and Ron just got property out here and, and Felix is gonna be staying out here. It's a really pretty area. One little bonus of this one though, they put in a pretty big improvement here. We've got TV, phone, and internet here on the property, ready to go, put in my name, and then uh, we don't have to worry about those three utilities. You may have like a bunch of questions rolling through your mind thinking I'm done being on the road and, and all this crazy stuff, but uh, it's just, so this property costs me what the shop would have cost me in about five or six months of rent, just flushing my money down the toilet for rent. So what, what, a, what a great investment here. Huge, huge spot. I mean, and plus, listen, even though we're fairly close to the road, it's quiet out here, guys. It's quiet. This is, this is where uh, something will go in the future. Stay tuned, I will share more on that later. Uh, but I'm not staying here for the winter. I'm getting back on the road and we're gonna go south together. But I mean, nothing wrong with uh, investing in my future. I, I'm just so excited. So I'm gonna do solar out here. In fact, let's get out of the store. I'm gonna show you, we, we, got, we got a solar store right down the road. I should also mention, this is not official or anything. We still have to close. So this week I'm going into, I'm working through a, t a title agency property that is gonna make sure everything's legit and all our property lines are met and all the paperwork, you know, the, the deed title is taken care of. I think it took Carolyn and Ron about two weeks to close out here, which isn't that bad. I mean, they're, they're pretty quick on it. So we're, we still got some stuff to go through, but uh, moving forward, it looks like, it looks like she's mine. Yeah. There we go. Travel a little bit farther down 61. Now entering Sholo. Sholo is actually uh, in a different county, but just 10 minutes from the property, it, you're going to find Walmart, Home Depot, Lowe's, Domino's, Margaritas galore, lots of Mexican restaurants down here. Uh, everything you need is just 10 miles away. Yeah. You think solar's king out here, guys? 
here at a uh, White Mountain Solar, although their prices are a little high. Look at this array here. This is 5,000 watts of solar, 20 250 watt panels. 5,000 watts ought to get it done. Wayne, RB Prepper Wayne, you watching? I need you to come out here and install something like this on my property. You can get solar panels here from a guy locally on Marketplace, uh, $40 for one 250 watt panel used, which is a great deal. Uh, you can you can find some good deals, you can also get ripped off, but uh, that's awesome. Yep, back here at Vagabond Base Camp here at Kevin's property out here. He he cleared a spot for me before I came to give me a, a parking spot and, uh, and several other friends. Uh, Carolyn down there has an RV down there also. And uh, if, if it weren't for Kevin, I do not think I would be able to have found this spot. I mean, being able to park here and kind of talk with people, um, I, I really, really want to pay it forward to him, but I, I don't even know how to repay him right now because uh, just being able to stay here and take the car out, wait for the car tires to arrive, uh, not to mention my, my, my bike. So Reba's back at Ed's shop over there. He has a massive shop over there, and he's also invited... To uh, me to stay out there. He's helped Kevin and Felix has been out there to do stripes on Ed's because Kevin was telling me that if it were not for Ed, you know, Kevin would have never found this place. Kevin would didn't know where to turn to. So, you know, Ed helping Kevin and then Kevin helping me and helping Felix and, and just everything just kind of worked, worked out. There's the uh, Bigfoot there. There's Frank and Tammy's rig, rig their class A. Carolyn and Ron used to be over there. They had to go back down to uh, the Phoenix Apache Junction area to take care of some stuff, but they already closed on their property down the road as well. So they'll be they'll be up here in this area a couple times a year as well. So that's awesome. Oh, we, we uh, love our campfires out here. Kevin and Felix are out on their uh, trackers exploring. I have a little surprise for them. I had some, some wood delivered. Uh, I believe you call this Aspen. This is a big chunk of wood, right? Would you be able to pick it up with, with two fingers? <laughs> Aspen is really popular out here for burning. So uh, had a truckload of wood delivered for our campfires. At least I can do, right? And uh, Kevin's getting ready to do rainwater collection from the roofs of the buildings there, which I think is a, a great idea out here during monsoon time. But yeah, I will say this. Uh, my property doesn't have a view like quite like this. There's a, there's a lake down there. <laughs> it's really pretty. It's a, it's a really nice spot. His property goes down the ravine, the ravine here quite a bit. Kind of, kind of windy up here on the ridge, but man, Arizona is beautiful. I do in a way feel a, a little guilty uh, after all the help and love and support I've got from my, my friends and family in Illinois, Sean, Jill, TJ, uh, Robert over there in, in, in Missouri. It's just, I feel like Arizona is going to fit me better long term and I hope you all come out here. I mean, I'm still going to come visit and uh, travel and come see you guys for, for Thanksgiving and stuff like that, but you know, Arizona I feel like is, is my area. A lot of sunshine, a lot of sunshine, very little bit of out of rain. So too funny, Kevin and Felix just got back and they were followed by a familiar truck. Literally, Kevin ordered wood from the same exact, I mean the same driver, the same truck is unloading a second truckload full of wood right now. I didn't know. So there will be no shortage of uh, campfire wood here at Vagabond Base okay. Camp. Yeah, no, it's gonna last a while. I'll get to enjoy some of it. I go to just, and I come back, there's still wood. I, I don't think we'll run out for a while, yeah, Felix. Okay. <laughs> hey, Foxy Lady. That's Felix's puppy. We're out here waiting for the sun to set, playing some uh, ladder ball. Felix got me on the hey. first round by like three points. A little different than bean bag, bean bag toss. Almost one. So Carolyn's last throw was here. That's a that's the uh, doubler. So she gets six points on the middle one there. That's the best throw on the last one there. Felix, you better start playing. Yeah, I only got three points. <laughs> See, Martini's got the ball. She's challenging Wilson. She says, "Come take this from me. Go get the ball. The, go get it. It's just a girl. Get it from her." 
go get it, Wilson. Go get it. Yeah. <laughs> I can't help you. I can't. I'm not gonna do it. You do it. No, you do it. No. <laughs> Come on, Eric, get it for me. Somebody Some, help. Somebody help. Man. She's just like, whoa. She's yeah. daring. Come on, get it. Yeah. What you gonna do, you old brown dumb dog? Ooh. <laughs> 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 like, don't just watch Eric. No. <laughs> <laughs> Frank uh, cut up some of the uh, aspen wood there, and I'll tell you what, it is burning really nice here. Not a whole lot of smoke. But, yeah, have a little campfire here. Look at this, we got, we got Tucker, we got Martini up on the, you realize we just made this wood pile, so there, there can't be any mice in there yet. You, you, you realize that, right? I'm gonna check it anyway. Oh my gosh. Now baby May is over here. We got the whole trio. You, you got to give it a couple days. There's no mice in there yet. There's nothing to catch. Like we literally just threw this here today. Okay. Okay. Will you, will you let me know if you find anything? Yeah, I'll let you know. Okay. Well, we got a nice fire here. As uh, it gets dark and the stars come out, so we're chilling at the fire here. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and close this one out, guys. I'm excited about the future, but uh, the road is still calling. So stay tuned. Opie and Tara and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Whoop.